Well, after leading police on a week-long manhunt, a Chittawaga man who was captured and charged with killing his wife appeared in court for an arraignment today. 45-year-old Adam Benefield pled not guilty to counts of murder, endangering the welfare of children, and aggravated criminal contempt. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. Mary Alice is off tonight. Channel 2's Dave McKinley says that last count has to do with Benefield violating that court order that he stay away from his wife, issued just a day before he allegedly killed her. Dave? Indeed, Scott, and that's also an aspect of this case that has provided a lightning rod for critics of New York's 2019 bail reform laws. Benefield had been in Chictawaka Town Court earlier this month facing several domestic violence charges for allegedly beating up his wife, Kiera. But the assault charges against him in that case were misdemeanors and under bail reform, the judge could not order that he be held. So he was released on his own recognizance the next day. It is alleged that despite the order of protection, Benefield stalked his wife and then used a shotgun to kill her as she sat in her car with her children, waiting to drop them off for school. Erie County's district attorney says, though he supports many aspects of the state's bail reform, this is a case he believes demonstrates where changes are needed. You can insert one simple sentence into the statute. And that simple sentence says that judges have the ability to assess dangerousness either to you know, themselves or to other people um, in evaluating bail. And that, he said, would apply to violent misdemeanors as well. Meantime, due to the severity of the charges against him now, which carry a potential life sentence, Benefield was ordered held without bail. His alleged victim's three children are now being cared for by their relatives. Tonight at 6, hear Governor Hochul's response regarding this case and whether she now thinks the bail reform laws need further tweaking. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.